Hello guys and welcome to the channel for uh, just another pair sort of thing. So today we're putting up Argentina against Brazil. I I I I've gonna do the same thing or have done the same thing with um Italy Italy against England. So if you want to see that the results um subscribe and put notifications on or there would be a link for the, so. I mean, we're going to get into the game after they do the whole national anthem thing, so see you then. Well, they have finished all the thing I'm um, singing and all of that, and we're going to quickly look at the lineups. So, Messi's going to be up front with Di Maria and Martinez, obviously, and everyone else is just kind of like, you know, Di Maria, the Celso, so it's kind of a given. So, I didn't exactly change the teams. At half time, I'll sub players that aren't in the mood, so yeah, just to tell you later. And Tiago Silva and Kinyos, pretty much the whole team, apart from Neymar isn't there, or anyone. So it's kind of interesting to see that he doesn't play, but, I mean, yeah, we are going to get into this game, um, just, well, I'll just see him kick this off, and, yeah, so, they go through, go forward already and oh, Brazil already stop the attack and Argentina I uh, seem to defend but Brazil are uh, going forward Richardson with the ball goes to Everton um Everson uh, I don't know don't know how to pronounce his name exactly but he misses and it was a big chance so um yeah Everton, I guess I was going to say Everton. <laughs> well, now Argentina were on the attack, but Brazil stop it, which is good for them. They're definitely showing that they can defend better than Argentina. Thiago Silva has the ball as we speak. He goes to continue. Felipe continue goes back to Arthur. Goes to Danny Lowe, switching the field as you can see. Goes to Lucas Paqueta. Everton, Richardson, what can he do with it here? He goes out to Daniolo, is he going to cross it? Yes he is, but it's going to be out for a throw-in. Continue now, there's running in the middle, Everton, he shoots, and it's a beautiful save by Argentina's goalkeeper, beautiful. And I should quickly mention that this game is a 30 minute game, so, um, yeah, it's gonna be, um, so, that's why the, um, thing's so long, because it's 30 minutes of game, at least. Anyway, Brazil have another chance a couple minutes later, and just couldn't do anything with it, just, they definitely show looking good, but they just, yeah, just didn't hit the spot there. Well, Sandro is on the wing, and ooh, Rich Allison going for the bicycle kick there, definitely looked very interesting, 
It was like not a good idea by Argentina let Sandro go. He could have that could have ended up in a goal, and it's just the reason why is because they didn't they let Sandro go. And now Danilo with the ball, can he do anything with it? Charleston, Paqueta, and Coutinho. Ooh, close. This is a very good game so far. Argentina have been very quiet since the beginning. So, mm, oh, that was looking very, very close. Well, Martinez and Anderson just, you know, saves it. Well, Argentina with the ball. It's been very boring 15 minutes around that. Well, Di Maria with the ball, passing it to Akuma. To meet Di Maria with the ball, can they actually do anything with the goal ball? I mean, he's still fighting with it. He goes to Messi, I mean, crosses it, and Messi goes for a big overswing kick, but he just falls over and takes out Thiago Silva in the lane and yeah the order was trying there but didn't exactly work out Brazil cross it and another close opportunity Brazil have definitely been asserting their dominance, but, oh, that could, it's just very close. Which Allison's definitely had a kind of a good game, but not great at the same time. But, Team Maria with the ball, goes to Okuma, Umtiti, for so so. They're passing it around. Are they going to score a goal? Around the, you know, get, is anyone going to get a goal in the next um, three minutes? In, unless they have, a, it depends on how much added time there is. Brazil, Ford, go to Richarlison. Can he do anything from this position? No. Mtiti defends, but it's still Brazil's ball. Brazil has definitely been doing better passing wise, Argentina still okay, but yeah. Arthur with the ball goes to Alexandro. Everton. Oh my god, the keeper makes an amazing save and just you know, he does not let Brazil get a goal yet. It's crossing again, but it's defended. But another save by the goalkeeper. You know, after this game, if they do end up winning, they need to thank their keeper for keeping him in this long and I just need to make a def make a mistake defensive wise. Lucas Prater goes to Richarlison. He gets the ball, he just goes through it, and it's caught by the keeper. He throws it forward to Di Maria, but it's not a great pass in the end. This is a very, very tense situation. What will come of this? Messi gets the ball. What is he going to do with it? He goes forward. There's 30 seconds left of extra added time. They cross it in, and Anders Anderson makes the save that keeps it a draw at half time. I mean, this first half has been very interesting. Um, I think Brazil have been dominating, if I do say myself, as we've got to look at the thing. They've had 12 shots and 6 on target, whereas, you know, obviously Argentina have had hardly any, so. As you can tell, they can pause it if you want there, but we're getting back into the game as Brazil kick off the match. And Sandro runs with the ball. Oh, goes down to back. It goes to Everton. Beautiful play by Everton here. Coutinho. He shoots. And, ooh, just goes a titch wide. Definitely great play, and well, the game is starting to heat up again, and the goalkeeper I don't think would be getting to that. 
Well, Brazil are going to be playing out from the back. And just to say, as you can tell, we've made subs. So if you want to see it's on the top. So, and Aguero is on now too for Martinez. Allen's on for Arthur. And, you know, Weasley is on. You know, you can look at it if you want and go back to the treble check who's on and off. So, yeah. Well, Brazil are in the 18-yard box for against Argentina. And Argentina clear it. So... They're definitely not having any nonsense in the defence. Lucas Paqueta goes forward. Then Marquinhos playing right back now. He continues running. He continues going. And great defence there. Di Maria puts a beautiful through ball to Aguero. The substitute was proving to be good. And you can see how much it means to the Argentine keeper. <laughs> Everyone's very happy about that on his team. And this game is finally kick-started. Argentina, the team that weren't looking as, you know, promising as Brazil, but Brazil have been just done as in the defense, and you can't expect Edison to save this shot. Di Maria with just a world-class through ball, showing why he's one a great player. And Aguero has to finish from there, it's just, he has to with his ability. <laughs> and Brazil kick off, losing 1-0. And they're continuing, they're going to try and, obviously going to try and get a goal back. And then Sandro goes forward, goes to Weasley, goes to Paqueta. Oh, Richarlison, can they get a goal straight away from back here? And, oh, Richarlison just can't exactly do anything with it. It's a shame. If I scored back straight away, that would have been great for them, because, you know, they would have the momentum then. But Argentina are still winning this match. <laughs> well, Brazil... Ten minutes later, I've still not had a sh really any op big opportunity. Sandra goes in the middle, but then beautiful defense by Argentina. Argentina going forward, Aguero, but Aguero couldn't get to it first. Brazil still going around. Can he do anything here? No. Allen passes it. Goes to Lucas Paqueta, who's had an amazing game. If I do say so, so easily, and it's another great save by the Argentina's goalkeeper. I honestly have no idea who he is, so that's good for him. A beautiful save. Well, Brazil are going to continue what they are doing by putting pressure on Argentina, which is what they pretty much did all of the last half. It's going to be interesting to see what exactly happens. Lucas Paqueta goes forward, goes to Richarlison, and he should have scored from that far out. Argentina's keeper keeps them into this match, and this is just unbelievable. He just shoots, and the keeper gets his big hand to it. Well, as Sandro is now forward, he goes to Weasley, and Argentina defend it superbly, but it's a free kick for, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Brazil, and Weasley's pissed off because he was tackled off the ball, not fairly, and it's on the, I mean, I can't exactly see how that's a bad tackle, but it's on the edge of the penalty box, and as you can see, it's Shot by, I'm not sure, and it's a save by the Argentine keeper. I honestly thought he was about to shoot, but no, he does pass it to Weasley, but the keeper saves him. But I was saying before, Aguero's had three shots, and three have been on target, while Richarlison's had nine, and four on target, I think. But, a couple minutes later, and Richarlison has another opportunity to put him on level turns, but they just can't exactly seem to do it. Argentina has just, you know, been defending their hearts out, so big opportunities here for Brazil, but 
They just can't seem to actually do anything right now. Argentina have got a chance here. They could have stopped them. And, oh, it just goes a bit wide. Oh, a bit too high. Beautiful play here. And it's just a bit over. If that went in the top corner, that would have been a goal. And that would have probably ended it. Well, we've got two minutes left of the match. All Argentina have to do is defend and keep the ball, but they don't. Brazil, they get the ball. Is anyone going to go for it? Argentina get the ball back. And Argentina still got the ball. All they have to do is hold it on for one more Pez minute. And then look at the ball. Could Weasley continue has the ball. Oh my god, Weasley, can they make this last attack count? Can you continue? Catch the ball. It's 15 seconds, 10 seconds. What is the ref going to call it? Is the ref going to call it? Because for Twitter, all Argentina have to do is defend the cross in. That has to come sooner or later. And it's a free kick for Brazil. Argentina have given away a free kick at the edge of the box. In the dying minutes, and he's just stepped on his foot. You can see that he's just kind of saying why. But he knows what he's did. Well, so now Continuo has the last shot of the game. Can they save it? And he does. Brazil are still into this game. They're taking this game into extra added extra time. This is amazing stuff right now the crowds just going wild and Coutinho is just so happy and so is that fan that was hugging him for an awfully a lot a long time just can't believe it the, go the goalkeeper that's been impenetrable today has finally been penetrated and it was also just a beautiful free kick it's just it was literally right next to the post. Keeper could do nothing. So it's going to be now full time. Just Continuo is so lucky to get that free kick, and at least he converted. Brazil can hope will hopefully be trying to win now. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. But you can just see Brazil is dominated, so they deserve to win at this stats wise. So Argentina kick off at a time and Talika Fico is on now for Brazil and Sandro is off for Lodi for Brazil. So Brazil get the ball back and can they do anything? No they can't seem but Argentina get a ball to Aguero, can he do what he did earlier? And no he can't. Well there's three minutes left of this half, not, they've really been quiet, nothing much has happened so far. But, it's going to be interesting to see if they can get anything from here, from both teams. Brazil, going on the attack, trying to get the lead before the end of half time. And Weasley puts it wide. They needed him to be cool, calm and collected, but he just couldn't be. And this was a very important, he could have scored and maybe even won the game for Brazil, but he doesn't. And it's a goal kick for Argentina. And can anything happen from here? They go back. They go to the right back. Goes back to Pereira. Masoso. Gets the ball. Goes to Di Maria. One minute left of this half. Can anything happen? Pereira with the ball and Brazil get the ball back so and it's a free kick for Brazil and it's a yellow card I think that might be the first yellow card of the game funny enough well yeah the same man that gave away the free kick that gave Brazil the goal back is the one that got the yellow card. 
So it's just he hasn't done great. But it's half time of extra time. And Brazil's just dominating as you can see there. So it'll be interesting to see what exactly happens in this second half. Well, Brazil kick off hoping to get a goal. Or even Argentina. Argentina haven't even had 10 shots yet. And Brazil's pretty much tripled what chances that Argentina have. But Argentina have just been more clinical. Or just Brazil is just putting the pressure on. But Argentina go forward. Hoping to get a goal. Can they? Di Maria is going forward. But can he get a goal? No. It goes to Aguero. Aguero shoots. And it goes wide. It goes to Messi. Can he do anything with it here? He crosses it in. And it's cleared out by the Brazilian defence. But it's still there. It, oh, that was a bad tackle from... I don't know who that was exactly. But Di Maria has the ball. Goes to Aguero. He shoots. And Anderson keeps the ball pretty easily. Well... Now in the dying moments of this game, Messi's going forward, nothing much else has happened in this half, nothing interesting of the sorts. This is very pressurising, will it go to penalties or will it not? The Salsa gets the ball, it goes to Di Maria, and Di Maria scores in the final. Di Maria might as well just have won the game for Argentina. Everyone's going nuts. Everyone's jumping on top of him. What a great game. And it's just confirmation there that it is a goal. Look how much it means to all the team. It's just beautiful play around. They go. Just Brazil. Just have not been clinical this game at all. But. Well, this has been a big game, and they also have to, Argentina also have to thank their goalkeeper, who's been one of the biggest things of this game. He saved over 16 shots. That is just nuts. We'll look how many shots he saved in a moment, but it's just nuts. Brazil are going into the attack and Argentina defend it. There's only one minute left of normal time. Can they keep it? Di Maria just couldn't get to the ball quick enough. And Brazil, the dying moments of the game. Marquinhos, they need to go forward soon. There's no minutes, it's the last attack. Can anything happen? Brazil have. Maybe Brazil can do the same thing they did last in normal time. Lodi passes it. Goes to Lucas Paqueta. And it's defended by Argentina. And the ref's got to blow the whistle. And Argentina win this game. Four. You say two. One. So would this be what, is this what going to happen in the real game? You don't know. But. Like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content. I can do more of it if you'd like. And that is the game kickoff that started this game. Martinez didn't do anything, but obviously Aguero did with his goal. But leave this, you know, leave a like in this video if you did enjoy. But as you can see, the goalkeeper, Argentina's goalkeeper saved very many shots he was the savior of this game it's just they did amazing if you look he saved 14 shots and he's the savior of this game but if like and subscribe see you later